Hi, hello, YouTube land. Check your clocks because it's amateur rubber time. Welcome back to Persona 5. In the last episode, we were just going through the high limit floor and we reached the maze of darkness, which we did complete luckily because I'm never too good at mazes, but I somehow managed to survive that. So now we're just trying to go to the arena or something like that because we, we lacked the coins before, but after we beat the house of darkness, we got 10,000. Right, so, yeah, we're heading to the battle arena, which I'm guessing is just going to be like a wave of enemies or something like that, but we never can be too sure. So, you know what to do, guys? Let's just jump right into this, as always, and leave a like for the buffers, amateur coon, and, um, let's see, anyone else I can really shout out to? This, yes, <laughs> shout out to this, whatever this is, it's like a poker table, but yeah, let's just go ahead and do this real good and nice like. Do I have my stuff? Oh, there's another safe room. Okay. Didn't expect to be another safe room here. So I guess we could quit travel here. Huh. Yeah, let's save. Let's, let's do it as he says. All right, now we can go. We can start this episode anew. I am feeling really good right now. Everything's good right now. I actually got noticed from a, from a random person on while I was at school. It felt really good. I felt like a superstar. <laughs> like I was, I felt popular at the moment. Um, let's see. This guy we talked to, right? Ah, welcome. Will you be participating in our stunning battle arena? Okay. Of course. Our teamwork's gonna take down this arena years. Ah, now that won't do. This is a series of honest one-on-one -on -one battles. So that means, correct, only one can participate. You'll need to choose someone to act as your representative. The entry fee for this event is 10,000 coins. However, if you manage to succeed the trials, you'll be granted 10 times that 100,000 coins. Wait, what? That's enough to get us across the bridge. Come on, we need to do this. Hmm, this feels like a trap to me. An amount that high would certainly ensure great danger. But failure to infiltrate this palace will be the end of us. So we don't got a choice. Very well. In that case, Joker should be one of the particip to participate. We don't know what kind of enemies may appear, so his high level of adaptability will be vital here. Leave it to me. Yes. Are you sure about this? You will have to fight alone. But that's why Joker's the one doing it, right? I mean, I understand why. D just be careful, okay? Don't do anything reckless in there. Has your mind been made up? The battles will begin once you enter. Now then, shall you challenge the imposing battle arena? I guess. Oh, in that case, please head on uh, onward into the ring. The entry fee and appropriate prize total shall be calculated at the end of the game. Now then, prepare to know the true meaning of agony. <laughs> Only you will be able to continue from here onward. We'll be cheering from the stands, so best of luck. All right. Nope. <laughs> Why are you guys following me? You will not be able to retreat once you enter this room. Is this all right with you? Uh, I'll prepare first. Yes, we gotta heal. And then, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. I mean, I literally don't know what's gonna be over on the other side of this. It could be a simple little shadow, or it could be Satan himself. <laughs> so... I could be walking in an easy trap or a terrible trap. Usually when it comes to me, it's always the terrible things. <laughs> so, only one way to find out. Let's head through this door. Let's do it. I'm confident enough, but I'm not confident, overconfident. I'll enter. Here we go. I'll see you guys on the other side, I guess. Oh God, focus. Hello! Now then, our, grip, our gripping battle is finally here. The idiot leader of the adult defying thieves have come. Odds are 1 to 1 on the house, 23.0 to the Phantom Thieves. Wow, the Phantom Thieves are surprisingly popular. It's rare to see odds in the double digits. Now, let's begin our serious one on one battle. Bring out the first contestant. Uh, what the hell? There's two of them. This isn't a one-on-one -on -one at all! They're just ignoring the rules right from the beginning! 
Now then, it's time for this hellish trio of battles to begin. Ready, set, go! Oh god. They're weak to psychic, right? So, as long as I got that in the bag. Ooh, thank you. Alright. Don't I have, like, all foes? Ravage them! There we go. One more. Oh yeah, I can't do an all-out attack without my people. Ah, uh, that's right. I completely forgot about that. What should I do then? The speaker's pachyderm is composed. What? Oh, here we go. Composed? I don't know what that means. Alright. You're mine. Alright, okay, so this is this will be the good order. Just take them out one at a time. That'll be best. It's groaning. Why? I'm a little suspicious of that. They didn't do that before. Maybe it's because I'm the only one here? Mm hmm. I did it. I don't know. That that was a little suspicious. I don't like that at all. Hey, at least I leveled up though. Okay. Wow, he really can't take a hint. The stupid Phantom Thief has won. You know, that's a little hard to say. I'm just gonna call him the Phantom Dweeb from now on. All of you betting on the house, do not fret. The second round of contestants is arriving now. What? There are even more than before. How cowardly! There's nothing fair or honest about this! Quiet down in the peanut gallery. Now, it's time to die in this blood-curdling battle. Alright. What were they weak to? Bless? Gulp. A dancing witch. Uh. I don't need trial and error. I need things to work. Oh, wow. They must be weak if I'm just the only one. Look at this one versus three looking like a Mario Party minigame. <laughs> what is this? Alright, that was good. How many battles is it? Bullshit! Why the hell are you dying, you goddamn phantom dweeb? I have a bet on this too. Urgh, there's no way in hell you're getting away with this. Time for our final contestant. What in the... Yowza, that's a big one. Go! Grind his bones to dust! Let the extreme third battle begin! Alright! What are you weak to? Unless you don't have one. Thunder Emperor. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Curse. Never mind. Charge. So, what does that. Hey, I'm not alone! Not alone in this! Charged up and focus. Alright, time to die. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Should I bless him? Um, I can go for this. Yes! And then, we're gonna... I tried curse already. So how about some psychic? Wow, this is really knocking him down. This is so overpowered, I like it. Thunder Emperor prepares. Gun? <laughs> oh, it worked. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that was a lot of money, too. I really did bet on this. Well, looks like I win. Joker wins. Once again, justice prevails. The, the payout will be handed over after this. Please wait. Congratulations, here's your reward. A hundred thousand coins. Oh shit! That was freaking amazing, Joker! You were incredible! They never even planned on giving you a fair fight in there! Yes, I expected that would be the case. Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing full well the possible dangers? I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. Come now, we should head to the bridge. This shall be our moment to shine. 
All right. Okay, so I thought I thought it'd be a lot worse than that the the battle arena, but I guess not. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I won every battle because I knew weaknesses. What was the Thunder Emperor's weakness, by the way? It could have been wind, since it said thunder, and that usually results in lightning, which also means electricity. So, wind. <laughs> but I could be wrong. He might not have had a weakness. I was just lucky, and because of. Futaba secretly joined in on my battle, which was supposed to be a, a fair fight to begin with, but that wasn't the case. <laughs> so, uh, where am I going again? I gotta head to this bridge, right? Level the scale bridge. I got a hundred thou. There it is. Alright, this has got to be it. Boop, 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 boop. Authenticating Members Card The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. We got that, now let us through. It seems, it seems he worked hard to gather that many coins. Shadow side. yeah I, I should have expected. I never expected you would make it this far. I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. What? What? That's not fair. You can't give us an impossible task like that. Ah, uh, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. Hence, I will emerge victorious. This is horrible. We had only just barely gotten 100,000 coins as well. She says she will let us through if we had one million coins, yes? In that case, there won't be a problem. What? Y you know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the re requisite coins right here. What? How could that be? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Well, yes, but... Do you have a moment? For example, we had borrowed the max when we had 10,000 coins. We would have ended up with 20,000. And we had then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, so our total would have grown to 460,000. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypotheticals. That's not what actually happened. Correct. On Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. You have another card? That's, that's the Taro Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I secretly use it to gather coins and outsmart the system. Superb! 460,000 coins! That means we would have over 500,000 if we had all our coins together! Hmm. <laughs> so what? That Zero Khalid does not close the required total. Actually, once my account reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount for a second time. After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000 coins. And adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1,010,000 1, coins. We can surely cross the bridge now. Whoa. Wait, if we borrowed all those coins... Is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? Impossible! This can't be! Crow! It's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our Phantom Thieves' efforts. Now, we should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. Alright. Clever little devil. Clever little devil. He got the jump on me, tell you that much. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I was like, nani the whole time. Alright. Card authorization complete. Your current total is 1,010,485 coins. Do you wish to activate the Bridge of Judgment? Activate the bridge. Yay. <laughs> That's basically what that was. That doesn't even look like a million. What the heck? Alright. Hell yeah, we're almost there. We had better be ready for whatever lies ahead. Alright. I got this. I got you, fam. Alright. Manager's floor. Ooh, swanky door. 
Looks like a manager door. <laughs> I'll open it, see what happens. There's a treasure. That's good. It looks like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. This manager's days are numbered. They all cheated. Of course, I'm not satisfied. I'm down with that. The calling card is sent. Sai San's treasure will appear, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? Well, if I remember from the first episode when I got caught by the police and I was running through this casino, was it in a briefcase? That depends on the person. For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kamashiro's was fake money. Father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. It could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. Okie dokie. I'm ready for that. I just hope it's not another time limit thing like Okumura. Because, oh my god, that was pressuring. Hmm? What's up? You curious about the treasure? Speaking of that, it actually looks like there's a shape form in the haziness. If I had to guess, I'd say it's just a treasure as a police notebook. Right, your father was... She probably thinks Dad died because the police were using him. That's why she believes justice is meaningless and that there's no point in living a, a subservient life. Dad's death was even the reason she aspired to become a prosecutor and grew so obsessed with winning. She really loved him. Sai-san's heart must be exhausted from living in such a fiercely competitive world. Honest beliefs alone are not enough to get you through. Even I understand that pain. But that is exactly why we need to change her heart. Yes, you're right. And now we have certain the little kitchen of the treasure for that goal. Would you like to return to the entrance now, Joker? Uh, let's explore a little bit more. Is there something else in here that's caught your attention? Okay, let's look a little more before we head back. Unless there's not, like, a safe room in here, then I guess I can head back to the entrance. Let's see what's up here. Anything? Ooh, a roulette wheel. I'm down with that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Nah, there isn't. Okay, so that's just the room that we just gotta go into. So, we'll leave the room and go to the other room and set room and go back to the front room, which takes us outside to the outside room. I am smart with words. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I'm ready. I'm ready to take this. Let's send that calling card. Let's get this distortion out the way. I'm so done. I mean, casinos are cool and everything, but this one in particular is so cheaty. I'm outy, scouty. Um, casino entrance, yes. Phew! It's been fun and games, but it's time for the real world to kick in for Sai-san. Let's go. Boom jams! Did it, did it. Wow, I did a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yes. We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Okay. Indeed, we have finished our pre-arrangements, and now we shall face the true test. But this is no time to panic, Joker. Let us ensure we succeed after having come so far. All right. So, what can I possibly do now? Something, something good. Oh. Uh, you're ah, you're back. We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. 
Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down, too. We still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns, though. I wonder if we'll learn anything about Nijiru-san's shadow. I doubt she has to search in any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she has the warrant out on the fan of these, after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijiru-san's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? Uh, I have no idea. It's someone who holds an animosity toward us and it can always stay one step ahead of our actions. Hmm, you're right. I can't think of a single person who fits that description. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. The final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, Adam. Okay. Uh, I can't get me coffee, right? Unless, if I ask for a massage, and then I can ask her to make me coffee, then ya boy is using big brain plays. <laughs> I like it. How's the pressure, Master? The pressure hurts. Master? Oh. Thank, thank you. Alright, so now... Um... We'll do this. Banana. Hey. Yes! I feel so much better that now I can make her some coffee. That hot coffee. Alright, now. I guess I could head to the shop and sell some stuff. Get some money. And then. Yeah! Find who else I could bond with if any moment. Any given moment. Without a sign. Na -na 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 -na. The real question to be asked. Where have I been? Yeah, I guess I'll bond with him. Why not? Uh, I want to shop first. First sell. You should be grateful. There we go. Now, let's... Uh, let's buy something. I gotta probably buy something for a catchy, if anything. Good. What do we got? What do we got? A brave waistcoat? Resistance to fear? Be sure hmm. to choose carefully. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. It's a suit. A it's a suit. I'm not gonna be caught up in anything. Calm okay, yourself. A Yama dress? Evade curse. Uh... Hmm. You can't break a dress. Wait, yeah, you can. That's a lie. <laughs> okay, um... Accessories? How about for me? Oh, no, I'm already wearing that weird little adhesive, so... Custom oh, I keep forgetting what customize is, but I think I have to bond with him some more to, like, do stuff with that. So I guess I'll bond with him, see what happens. I want to work. In that case, do some work around the shop. This could be fun for gun enthusiasts like you, huh? Yeah, I feel like I can become closer. I don't think my bond with the Y will deepen just yet. Alright, let's hang out with him. Alright, go jump off a back for Kaoru. Kaoru. Kaoru? 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 Look at me dusting these weapons. The Y seems satisfied. He asked me to do one task after another. I feel like my bond with the Y will grow stronger soon. See ya. See ya. Thank you, gunman. I'll be sure to talk about you after I'm done. Not bad stuff, of course. I mean, you have all the model guns. Lord knows what happened if I got shot by one. <laughs> Thank you for the coffee. I kind of need it now. I almost fell asleep working on them, dusting them products. Oh my god. Who is this? Would you like to go see a movie tomorrow? We have about a week left, so why don't we take a break? There's a thriller that's out called Paxaw. Paxaw? What do you think? If you can handle that kind of stuff, that is. Well, I think I already... Do I have maximum guts? I don't think I do. Uh, I'm gonna have to decline on that, because I want to get this calling card done. I have plans tomorrow. I guess I should have expected that asking so suddenly. Perhaps next time. You're turning her down? Well, it is your choice. 
Yeah, I should get to bed. Yeah, I want to get this calling card done. We'll, we'll have time for a movie later. Let's just send this off before my everyone dies. Well, you know what I mean. Popularity going low. <laughs> That's what I meant. They're running loose right now. All right, flu season, oh no. Only one week remaining. Yeah, that's how much time we got to that, nab that treasure. There's that, but it also how much longer we would get to stay as the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. Now that you mention it, it is quite an odd feeling. I've been trying to avoid thinking about that until the time actually comes. Did you remember, Adam? Uh, let's just do our best. That's not really an answer to my question, but it's good motivation. Well, I guess all we can do now is do this shit like we always do. Yeah, from Makoto's sister. Thank you, everyone. Oik. I am not trying to think about that. The buffers shall always be the buffers. That's just how it is. We can't break up. But I think we have no choice. Hey, there's only seven days left. What are you going to do with the calling card? Um, I want to see your face. Why? There's actually something I think I should tell you. But I can't make up my mind. Sorry, never mind. Forget what I said. Um, okay. Hold on, we'll do this real quick. What's going on? What's going on, Doc? What happened? It doesn't matter if it becomes an epidemic. What do you mean? I want to do a clinical trial. Oh, the clinical trial. Sorry, I'm gonna pass on it today. It can be suppressed. My overflowing charm melted to Kevin's stubborn heart. I need to talk to you, since this might be the last time. I feel like my bond with Kevin will grow stronger soon. Okay, we'll hang out with that. I do remember, actually, I will say off camera. Um, I was bonding with the doctor, and apparently, all this clinical trial stuff that I've been doing with her um, was trying. She was trying to help out someone else. I was doing the test to help this certain person, but the doctor came, another doctor came in and said that she was dead, which made her in this state now. So I think that's what she was trying to talk about. So let's see what happens next. I'm thinking of resigning. Several of my suppliers have stated that they're going to stop selling to me. If I can't get my hands on medical supplies, I won't be able to get what I need to complete this new medicine. They're probably going to be being pressured by Oh, Yamada to stop doing business with me, so I figure it's over. You okay with this? It's fine. I confirmed with the hospital Miwa Chan is being treated at. Oh, Yam oh, Yamada was telling the truth. Miwa Chan was apparently smiling until the very end. She probably didn't want to worry anyone. I wish I could have cured her. I didn't want fame or money. All I wanted was to keep her smiling. This isn't just about her, though. I was going to help every single person who was suffering from that disease. I was a sickly child when I was young, too. I was always in the hospital and rarely well enough to attend school at all. Medicine was all that kept me alive. That's why I wanted to become a doctor. So I could have just saved people, just like I was saved. But I guess this is where it ends. The medical industry is a business after all, and the chief decides what's best for it. I'm all out of allies. Uh, I'm your ally? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you're right. You might just be my one and only. I really appreciate everything you've done. My practice increased thanks to your noisiness. Your no nosiness, not noisiness. Your nosiness, and in the end, I felt like a real doctor again. So, thank you. Uh, you gonna run away? I just might. This is where it ends. Although it frustrates me. I can't do clinical trials anymore, so you can go home. Thanks. Thanks again for all your help, and good luck with those entrance exams. Is there anything I can do for Takemi? Bye. What's his full name? What are you trying 
You mean Oyamata? Why? I hope you're not planning to get revenge for me. I won't do anything. He's such a weird kid. His full name is Soichi Oyamata. He's a very influential chief of staff in the world of medicine. Is that all? That's all we needed. I need to do something about the target for Takemi. Bad medicine. All right, so we got a request in, in mementos, which we can do off camera and see what happens next. So I'll have that under my belt. And whilst we're sending the calling card, we can hold that meeting and tell her about, tell the peeps about the doc, the other doctor. Okay. Well then. Uh, we got more stuff. Are you free today? I guess. May as well just hang out with the peeps and get some stuff. And then after that, then we'll send that calling card and Sai Nijima will get bupped. But don't you worry. Hello. Prevention is key. Prevention is key. Uh, do a verification test. Well, I'm not going to be able to bond with her just yet, though. But it's good to in the end, I suppose. Yay. I feel like my bomb will grow stronger soon. Check you later. It's still flu season, and we are down at 7%. God, no one likes us. <laughs> no one likes us. I'm so sad. Hey. Oh, we got a seat. Okay, uh, this is the only one I can read, so. Hey. May as well. Is it, don't you already know about it? Is there really a point in reading it? <laughs> okay, I have no books to read. Would you change your Hold mind? on, you were able to grab a seat, but you're not reading? I don't feel like reading. I see. I suppose to just sit and relax until we get there, then. I don't got no books. I probably have to buy more some other places to see what I can get. After school. Alright. Hey. Let's send that calling card. Who should I talk with first? Wait, can I return a book? I actually, you know what? I kind of read all the books in the library, to be honest. So let me just see that real quick. Uh, I like to return a book. Oh, I haven't checked anything out. Yeah. I read all these books, so... I don't got nothing to read in the library anymore. Na Ryuji. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, I went I moved like in a completely different location. Ryuji, I am looking for No, I have a better idea. Uh let's go to Haru and then we'll talk and talk and talk. Where do I want to find a catchy though? That's what I want to know. Hello. Hey. All right. Uh, let's meet up with the others. Yes. Hi, diggity. Let's do this. All right. All right. Ah, yeah. All we gotta do now is send the calling card. Hmm. So, when do you want to send it? The earlier, the better, right? No, in my opinion, sh we should wait until the right. We we should wait until the right before the time limit. How do you mean? May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? I was thinking. Sai San's a realist. Mm -hmm. Even if she believes the Phantom Thieves exist, do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Could that be Furthermore, there's a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. Um, so because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect. I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Well, Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. How about this? If we do so with no time to spare, I assume even Saison would have to be somewhat agitated. Sure. Hmm. Ensuring the treasure actually appears, that sounds quite logical. I agree. Impressive, Akechi-kun, though it's a bit vexing that you know about my sister than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because of my work as a detective. Exactly. Well then. If our time limit is November 20th, we should act the day after sending the calling card. So... How is this? Shall we send it out on the 18th? Okay. 
We should prepare as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. I guess? Huh. So on the 18th, he wants to send it. Okay, I guess that's a legit thing. <laughs> uh, view request then. I guess we can hang out for people until then. Let's do all we can for our last big job. Yes, it matters not how the public views us. Let us help those in trouble. Well, then we have some new intel on a mental target today. This is about a doctor in Yogenjaya, Takemi. She's a real pinch right now. An old boss of hers, Oyamada, is trying to crush her clinic to save himself. This is a doctor in Yogen? Shit. This guy is hiding some serious medical mistakes. It turns out he's quite the criminal. Alright, we gotta operate on that dude's rotten heart then. Okay, looks like we're all ready to go on this. You already told Mishima, so the foreign post is up and running. No objections, right? Yep. Alright, so that's just bad medicine. Okay. Um, that's it for today. I guess we can hang with people if we're lucky. I want to hang with Yusuke. More Yusuke biz. Yusuke nonsense. No, I want to hang with Makoto. Or, God, I, I actually don't know who. <laughs> Who we got? Who we got? Shibuya. <laughs> no, this isn't Shibuya. This is the town. This is the school. Here we go. Maybe I could find something good. Maybe where Yuji will hang with us. I don't know. Oh, she's got a little card on her. Uh, I came to see you. My apologies, I'm quite busy taking Claire. Claire? Taking Claire of the planters. <laughs> it takes some time for someone as clumsy as me. Hard seems to be busy taking care of the planters by herself. Given my current proficiency, I could help Haru with anything. I feel like my bow will grow stronger soon. Alright, let's go hang out with her then. Thank you. So you'll help me? Well, if you insist. Right then. I guess we're just gonna be having a hang episode, I suppose. You're quite skilled. The soil here would be so healthy if you were here more often. Honestly, I'm surprised that my gardening can be of use to our work as a fan of thieves. This started as just a hobby, so it's amazing to see it transform into a more practical skill. Um, Beyond this, I've actually begun raising plants of my own at home. Coffee beans. You like coffee? Actually, I'm more of a tea person. I always make sure to have at least 10 varieties on hand for my morning and afternoon tea. Anyway, I recently discovered the joy and taste of the aroma of coffee. I used to think it was purely bitter, but now I understand the depth of its flavor. To tell you the truth, I wasn't even able to drink it before. Ah, uh, pardon me, I was just thinking back on the past. Um, can I share with you again? Sure. As I mentioned before, I cannot bring myself to trust any of the employees at Akuma Foods. For as long as I can remember, the company's been run by my father. Being liked by him was always very important. Some employees would even come to in, in, ingratiate themselves to me. But since his passing, things have gotten unruly. Most of it, evidently, people have started trying to use my influence as majority shareholder to oust their employees. They say they come to me out of respect, but I really just want them to use me. I've heard so many rumors. The worst ones are about Takakura-san, the new president. They say he was thrilled to hear my father pass. There may be truth of that, though. He's been in the company for years and has only started being nice to me recently. He even offered to assist me in asset management. I fear he has an ulterior motive, though. Uh, he sounds suspicious. Yes, I can't help but wonder about him. Um, he even went as far as to recommend I sell my shares the other day. He said I could make a fortune, but I realized that if I did so, he would be able to strike the Akuma name completely. Ta Takakura-san must be scheming to make the company for himself. At least, it's possible. Uh, maybe you should fire him. <laughs> <laughs> get them before they can get you? That concept is truly becoming of a fan of these. 
But I'm not even sure I even have the influence to do something like that. None of the advice I've gotten so far has helped either. Everyone only speaks up for their own self-interest. Yes, thank you for today though. I feel a little better after talking about this with you. Oh, and don't worry. I'll make sure I keep myself motivated, even through these difficult times. Cool. I can sense Haru's trust in me. Excellent. Level 2, Baton Pass. Yeah, we're going to have to bond with her a little bit to get all this stuff back. I'm going to stay here a little while longer and check the drainage. I need to make sure these vegetables turn out good as possible for the fan and thieves. Goodbye. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Alright, so who could I, now who could I possibly hang out with at night? If the, if Ifumi is ready for chess, which I'm always going to win because I'm a pro. Uh. You're back. You're back. Well, there's also Sojiro. Prepare for the 19th. I'll be at church. Yay. However, i like to speak with you. Okay. Head over to immediately. Let's go. Everyone wants to talk with me today. <sighs> there are a lot more people wearing masks. I suppose it's because of the flu. I hope you're being cautious, amateur Kun. Nah. <sighs> I can't teach you shogi right now, or rather, from now on. I'm at checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. I'm not sure what my next move is after the checkmate. Ifumi seems troubled. With my overflowing knowledge, I might be able to show Ifumi her next move. I feel like my bond with Ifumi will grow stronger soon, but... Yeah, I'll hang out with her. What? What? You'll help me think? Thank you so much. Okay. Everybody's having problems today. Actually, before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming exhibition match against the pro. Why? <laughs> it's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, and as a result, I'll get more female fans. Then, when I make my comeback, I'll become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way, I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. Um, that doesn't sound right. That don't work. I wish I could agree, but I feel like my mother may be right. People do have a good comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother has, does have great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but what made me sad was I realized my mother doesn't see me as a shogi player. She said that there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into shogi, and that once I become famous, I can quit shogi and make money from my looks. Oh, man. The only reason she continues to support my shogi career is so she can profit off me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match as long as I build my reputation and make money. To my mother, Shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. Dang. However, However, losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me become famous and ease my parents' burden, I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game that both my father and I love. Let's make her reconsider. <sighs> if only that were possible, she's the type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity through me. I highly doubt she would ever reconsider. What's your mom's name? It's Misuyo Togo. Um, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? I need to do something about the target for Hifumi. Alright. Upstaging the stage mother. Alright. Here's the next one. Another target. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be busy off camera, huh? Enough is enough. Oh, how far they've fallen. What is the ad? Is the admin an accomplice? Deleted by admin. <laughs> right when he said the comment, delete. Yo. Hey, I've been waiting for you, Adam. You know what I'm getting at, right? We'll send the calling card on the 18th to carry out the plan the next day. You're ready, aren't you? Are you? Uh... Actually, I'm so worried I've been losing sleep. <laughs> Just kidding. But don't forget, let's have no regrets. This is our to-do-or-die situation. We don't have the option to fail. To fail. Alright, so we're, we're waiting on the 18th to do this job. So, I guess we can still hang with other people. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. There haven't been many reruns of historical dramas recently, have there? I wonder if that Phantom Thieves have a hand in that. Many of these shows have noble thieves and shady people. Given current trends, it may be seen as insensitive. Nazumi Koza was one of those gentlemen thieves in the Edo period. According to one theory, he stole over 1 billion yen, making him the most wanted man in the era. Now then, Emperor Chaku. When was he executed? Something that was done to the... Wait, when he was executed, something was done to his appearance. Do you know what it was? Uh, they shaved his head, they put makeup on him, they stripped him naked. Uh, they made him wear a costume, why not? No, that's not right. His punishment was to be paraded through the city, then beheaded and have his head put on display. Well, I guess I don't really need to know these questions now because I have, like, maximum knowledge. They put light makeup on lipstick on him and made him wear a beautiful kimono. Oh, so they, like, made a fool of him, basically. The parading around of a well-known criminal was sort of a performance back in the day. The citizens wouldn't have been satisfied if he even looked, sh looked shabby. Huh. Guess he doesn't study after all. We should stay away from him. Crap, the teacher's looking at us. I am smarter than all of you. <laughs> I wonder what will happen if those Phantom Thieves get arrested. These days, it won't just be their heads that will be put on display. <sighs> People are having fun thinking about that, huh? I can't take this. Well... So they made him parade around the city wearing makeup. Huh. I guess that was a thing back then. Hey. There's three days left until the, until the calling card. Make sure you're ready, okay? Well, first off, I do know on the rooftop, Haru was making them delicious tomatoes. So, yes, they're ready, I think. Uh, I'm here for the veggies. Oh, the 17th, okay. Never mind. Um, what we got? Plans for today? On to Kamaki? No, we should hang with Haru again. Uh, decide later. I'm hanging with Haru again. Uh, I came to see you. Thank you. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I feel like the bond will grow stronger. Let's go. Let's make some... Let's plant some more plants and veggies and more veggies. <laughs> that made sense. Soil is quite a mysterious thing. Within its gentle care, even a tiny seed can awaken, spread its roots, and grow up towards the sun. It's almost like a mother. Perhaps the aspect is why I find this place so comforting. She does guardian in her gym suit. To be honest, you know, I only started taking care of this plant is because one of my teachers asked me to. I was hesitant at first, but I liked it so much that I kept them long past the original request. I started mixing my own fertilizer, adjusting soil ratios, now I raise these plants in complete secret. But um, Adam Coon, I'm worried that the school might what might the school do if they found out about this. Uh it'll be okay, I promise. Hey, <laughs> you're so dependable. In that case, we could be partners in crime. Honestly, Adam Coon, I really enjoy the time we spend together. It's no different from how I feel when I'm around him. Him? Oh, sorry, I met my fiancé. That reminds me, though, I wanted to hear, ask your advice about him. Um, the whole arrangement began when my father first introduced us at the beginning of this year. I was told we were just meeting the friend for dinner, but then he said that friend was to be my fiancé. I was surprising, but I suppose that I always had known I would someday be married off for political gain. So, I accepted, and that was the start of our relationship. Relationship stuff happened, just to be clear. Anyway, I was never exactly fond of him to begin with, but now he has grown far worse. Recently, he's been suggesting we go on an early honeymoon together to celebrate our coming marriage. I can't stand to look at him, though, let alone spend any actual prolonged time together. So, um, what can I say to decline his offer? I don't want to go with you. I'm afraid of flying. We should break up. <laughs> Simple as that. Well, about that. Um, as you know, my father passed away before he could fulfill his promise to rescind the marriage proposal. So, any conversation about putting a halt to the marriage will have to come from me. To tell the truth, I've already mentioned it to my fiancé. Really? 
but he refuses to listen to a single word I have to say. Apparently, he's been telling the employment of Kumar Foods about the contract he made with my father. How the company could have paid extreme reparations if it got called off for any reason. I just don't know how to handle this. I can post poems to the high school, but after that? Thinking about it now, it seems that my father's death has turned out to be quite memorable for my fiance. After all, he's now engaged with the majority shareholder of a massive company. I suppose in the end, all he really cares about is his own personal gain. But that's not what a relationship is supposed to be built on. It should be something more. Something like a love so intense that just seeing the other person makes your chest, your chest tighten up. I'm not so sure. Have, um, have you ever experienced that? In personal and personal reasons, uh, unfortunately not. <laughs> but so yeah, I just go with that. Not yet. Not yet. I guess we're both in the same position then. But there's no spark like that with my fiance. But any time with him is almost like some kind of training. Yes. Still, in any hardship I go through now will surely help the fan of these eventually. I'll get through this. I can sense Ernest Resolve from Haru. Wonderful. Yay. Follow up. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Follow up. Follow up. What's that on your phone? Oh, it's getting late. I should probably get back to my gardening. Well, I think I'll be staying here a little while longer. Goodbye. See you later. All right. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to do? I forgot to get the coffee. I'm so silly. Why did not get the coffee before? I'll do it this time. Uh, you're back. Get out of my bar. <laughs> I need coffee done. All right. Hey. Let's call Kawakami. Make sure you close up. Hi. Make sure you close up, or I'm killing you. <laughs> All right. I have a request. Okay. Go right away. Where have you been? You searching all along. All right. Amateur son, honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate, but I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? You're only realizing that now? It's not that. I just need some time to accept that reality. You know, I've wondered in the past whether that fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore these laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um, How can I become one of those people, amateur son? Uh, trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself instead of fortune telling? I've never thought of it that way before. The city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown of the country, amateur sign. It was a small traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Tell me more. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the village in the center of the village. There, I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to the city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want, them, I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. But, no, I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than just mere words, attitude, and passion? Oh, she threw it away. If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head-on with my own strength. Although, the chairman would really be mad if he found out. Not sure I follow. Oh, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. I anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. I think it'll work. 
Yeah, right. I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. Okay. I can sense Chihaya's intense motivation. Beautiful. Level four fortune. All right. All right. I guess it'll be useful. Until next time. Until next time. Good night. Oy, oy, oy. So she threw a stone away. Claiming she has an inescapable fate. And I'm asleep again, waiting for coffee. Hi. Hey. It is flu season. Me sleeping on this bar, cafe place, is probably going to get me sick. <laughs> People coming in here, drinking off the cups and coughing all over the place. Yeah. Not my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. Wayo. Hi. All right, everyone, quiet down. I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of a regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen carefully. But don't think you can slack off, okay? I absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. Hokami's graciously given us this free time, so we better put it to good use. What do you want to do? What's the plan? Uh, let's sleep. <laughs> I guess sleep is important for kids your age. Sleep tight. Night, night. <laughs> I dreamed that Odd and I watched a film together, moving the two of us to tears. I feel a little closer to Odd. We. Oui. <laughs> so what, just a random event happens when I go to sleep? Ah, that was great. You should thank Kawakami for this later. Thank you for this rest. <laughs> I just passed out on the desk. That is amazing. Two more days. Yes, make sure you're ready. Um, prepare for the 19th. What you up to? What are you doing right now? You gonna be going to the palace today? I'm still hanging out in the hallway. Let me know if something comes up. Alright, let's go. We're gonna hang out with Ryuji. Ba -na 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 -na. Yo. Yo. Hey. Uh, I think my bar with Ryuji will deepen just. Really? Yo. Uh, let's train. Wanna get going? Okay, let's get changed. We're gonna do some jogging today. He said all this time about training, so I guess we're just gonna be training. Ryuji's covered in sweat. It seems his workout was even more intense than usual. I think my bond with Ryuji will grow stronger soon. See ya. See ya. Oh, that's right. I gotta buy more books. I just now remembered. But as I'm doing the memento stuff, I'll find, I'll find some books off camera too. Are they still searching for the Phantom Thieves? This isn't even news anymore. I don't care about politics. Same here. Just arrest the Phantom Thieves already. We can't entrust these incompetent politicians to do anything. Okay, the, the, the public is mad. That I already can confirm. They're mad at us. They're mad at the police. They're probably mad at politicians too. Uh, back. Give me the coffee. Let's call Kawakami, of course. Make sure you close up. Hi. Make sure you close up. Why do I always smell the hint of maid in this cafe every time? Alright, so now where can I go now? Shibuya? Who's in Shibuya? Hmm. I guess... You know what? I'm, I'm gonna do this. Searching all along. I'm gonna head to the... The clinic. Not, no, not the clinic. You... The bathhouse. I may not get as much charm for as usual, but... Oh, I could go to my job. I'm such a fool. What the heck? I could be doing that, too. Let's go to my job. Um, but in this place. Where is it? Wait. No, it's not the place I want to go. <laughs> oh, it's... Hello. Oh. Amateur Coon. I'm happy I was able to talk to you, but I can't make up my mind up right now. Even though it was all for the good of my family, those fixed matches and my mother. Ifumi's in trouble about what she should do. I acquired Ifumi's mother's name. Let's go to Mementos and change her mother's heart. Okay, that's not what I wanted, by the way. Um, God, where is that place? Can I not go to it? Uh, yes, this is where I want to go. I'm gonna do my job here. Sorry, boy. 
Ichiko-chan isn't here today. Why are you here to see me instead? Yeah, I want to work. I feel like I could improve myself a lot of ways by working here. All right, let's get to work. Let's do it. Who should I talk to, though? Wow, well, seems busy. Oh, hey, there's a customer who's all alone. You should go check up on him. All right. Which customer should I talk to? Scary red-faced businessman? Oh, it's you. I'd like to ask for a young person's opinion on the recent fluctuation in stock prices. Yeah. Well, you might as well humor him. He talks a lot about politics and economics. Yep. I'm surprised anyone could be so long-winded. But you did talk to a pretty difficult topic. I'm sure you gained some knowledge about it. Well, I already have a, a bunch of knowledge to begin with. Rank my, yeah, my stuff's already max. All right. That was a kind of a waste. <laughs> All right. 5,000, I guess. Well, time to head out. Wanna head back? Wanna head back? Yes, I do. Get that coffee. And how many days we got left? So tomorrow will be the 17th. So yeah, I think after today and then tomorrow, I think we'll be ready to send the calling card. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Oh boy. <laughs> this is it. Ugh. No, I don't have any books to read. Sorry. No books. Today we're going over. Oh. Now then, please open your textbooks. Today we'll be learning about trigonomic trigon trigonometric functions. S oh my god, not math. Sine, cosine, and tangent. This is where a lot of people aren't able to keep up. I didn't keep up in algebra. Like, you can't just teach me this stuff. Why would you panic from just seeing a graph? I don't get it. Trust me, there's a lot of things to be afraid of in a graph. A complicated formula gets condensed down to a single line. Is it as simple and elegant? No. All of them have distinctive shapes and that stimulate the imagination. Now that amateur side, take a look at these graphs. <laughs> oh, God. Which of these is called the... I don't even know what that name. It's the resemblance of a snail. I'm gonna assume A? No. What? The correct answer is B. I'm sorry, what? Um, I suppose they're really snails shell that resemble. A, okay, that, oh, I'm sorry. Likewise, D is called the devil's curve because it looks like a Chinese yo-yo called the Diabolo. It does? <laughs> It's not directly related to devils in any way. Oh, wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Some people may think of math as an enemy, like a devil. But there's research that people who excel in math have higher incomes. If you're suing for a high salary, sometimes you need to be willing to fight demons. Honestly, I feel like fighting demons will be easier than trying to understand graphs like that. <laughs> Thank you, Morgana. Holy crap. <laughs> How did B look like a... You know what? I'm done. Forget forget math for a moment. Hey. There's one day left until you send the calling card. Make sure you're ready, okay? I will be ready. But until then, guys, we're going to have to end the episode off here and continue this off fresh. So, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe to get new feed on videos and become a member of the Cuckoo Crew today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can recommend the picture games for me to play or chat your preference. Also, if you subscribe, be sure to tap that bell to get notifications on videos so you'll never miss one from me ever again. But that's going to be it from Persona 5. In the next episode, we will send the calling card to Nijima, and hopefully she will get bucked in the next episode. So, until then, guys, have a nice day, have a nice night, and Mature is out. <laughs>